welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be planning for the week of June 1st through the 7th. I'm going to be using this stunning sampler from Two Little Bees. This was a Black Lives Matter um, sampler and all the proceeds went to um, an organization for Black Lives Matter that Maria chose. So I'm really excited. I did a poll on my Instagram if I should just do this sampler like old times or if I should combine it with another Two Little Bees kit which is this one. Um, and the poll came out to just this so I'm really excited. Excuse me. <coughs> Tickle on my throat. I'm really excited. It's going to be like old times and uh, yeah so let's just go ahead and get into it. I pulled out a bunch of washi here, all neutrals because I think that's the safest way to go. Um, mainly all of them are also from Simply Gilded, so those ones are from Simply Gilded. This one is from, oh goodness, I can't remember where. It'll come to me. I don't, I don't exactly recall where it's from, but it'll come. I know. I think it starts with a P. And then I have this one from the Pink Room Co. So lots of blacks, neutrals, pinks. Obviously, that's what the kit's from. I'm also going to pull this full box here and a lot from this um, sampler. This was a um, bundle from The Giving Girl. Again, all those proceeds went to Black Lives Matter. And yeah, and then everything else I'm just going to be pulling in from my collection or things that I've picked up over time. I have the sampler from Two Little Bees and I just think the the patterns and stuff will go really well there as well. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and just start jumping into it. I feel like um, if things get too silent, we might do a voiceover for this portion and then come back and talk day by day just because that one's a little less um, unknown. I'm, I'm really excited because I think I'm going to be able to get really creative with this. Like I said, like old times, we have four, well, we have the three main decorative boxes. I'm going to use this one as a decorative box and then this one as well. So let's get into it. Okay. Hmm. Let me start putting things around and then we'll talk more. All right. So um, what I think I'm going to do is put her up here, these two here, and then, or here, and then maybe this in the middle. And then play around with the washi. So, like old times, if you watched me back when I um, was subscribed to the Pink Room Co's Mystery Kit, her, her stickers are absolutely stunning. If you haven't checked her out, go check her out. I mean, I loved her mystery kits to pieces. It was, that's actually how I started planning um, without bottom washi. With her kits, they didn't come with bottom washi, and they didn't come with, I think it only came with five full boxes. So that's how I started doing this whole system with the washi and dropping things down and just kind of getting more creative with it. Oh, this is smaller than a, okay, so maybe we put that over here. Um, but, oh, and this one's also smaller than a, Full box okay interesting what do we do here I could bump it up with some hmm. okay so these are like horizontal size boxes so they're not gonna match the same height as this which is a bit of an issue I mean it's not that big of an issue but you know I could border it with some I wish I just had some plain black washi, which I don't. Everything's like an off gray. Like a dark, dark gray. Oh, here I have this washi as well. I can pull this one in. The polka dots. Uh, but anyways, as I was saying, that's how I kind of got into all this. And um, I haven't done it in a while, so I'm really, really excited. Okay, give me. All right, so there are going to be two portions um, that I just go silent, which this is one of them, and there's another one. I just wanted to, uh, to kind of share my thought process instead of keeping the majority off. I think the only thing I didn't keep in or film was me actually cutting um, the majority of the washi. Other than that, I wanted to really keep in my thought process and how I kind of go along to figure this type of stuff out just in case... Um, 
anyone wanted to see it or was curious. Um, so yeah, so I'm basically just moving my three bolts the three full boxes around um, and the quarter boxes. I think what happened were, um, I don't know why I'm calling them quarter boxes, the C, the B6 size boxes were really throwing me off for some reason. Had those been normal full size boxes, I think uh, my thought process would have been a little bit smoother, but you know what, when is my thought process ever really that smooth? <laughs> um, I, I really like, I don't know, I work through it, I, I take, I pick things up, I put things down, you know change things around. What I ended up really absolutely loving um, is this washi right here. I think it just was so perfect with the abstract um, backgrounds of some of the boxes. The colors fit perfectly. I just, I love the way that these, this washi looked like it was meant for this kit. Especially once I layer, you'll see later on, I layer a box over it and it just looks so seamless and, and beautiful. So um, I'm going ahead. I again forgot that my full boxes go a bit taller than um, how bottom washi normally is as it typ typically would. It's the size of a full box um, but for some reason I don't know why I was thinking that, was not thinking that. So I actually do go back in um, later off camera and kind of mess around and fix this one just because it was my first one. I think I, I didn't like that I cut it too short on the sides and I wish I would have started a little higher. Um, I pull in one of the actual full boxes from the kit to measure the height. Um, and yeah, so that's basically what I'm doing here. And um, yeah, I'll come back on camera here soon. Until then, I think I'm going to play some music. So enjoy. Wanna shake the ground, wanna break away, let loose. I'm tired of waiting, gotta make that move. All the neon signs, now they shout to me and you to write a story, wanna shape the boxes looking good so now I'm feeling like I need some some black in there but I'm thinking maybe do tan bows or maybe yeah tan bows and then but that I wish I had like I wish I had a black bow ah, I mean I do but it's not it's from um it's from the Pink Room Co. You know, that could look nice. But this is the only, like, tan I have. I just don't want it to be too many bows. Okay, so maybe we do... That's a lot of pattern. I definitely think I want to do a bow here, a tan bow here, and then maybe bring in some black in here. And then I'll do the black um, fist there. Okay, the next step I'm just going to start with is by going in with the tan bows um, on the two ends. And then we can go from there. But so far, so good. I think this pattern goes really well with the abstract pattern in the back of the stunning girl. Oh, wait. Oh, what the heck was I thinking? Th this was going to go here. Well now, where is this gonna go? Maybe there? And there? Okay, but then I'd have to switch. I was like, so into the bow, or into the washi. That looks nice, I can be down for that. But I, I don't know if I want one of these up here. Let's see, okay. Well, let's for sure put, if I do that, no, 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 let's for sure put this over here. I'm kind of cutting and trimming the washi off camera. I hope you don't mind this style of video. 
I feel like if I, I feel like I really want to put that up there. So let's do that. And then maybe I could still put this here. I would just have to pull in something else to border it. <laughs> okay, no, I want this over here, but where do I want this then? Maybe I'll just keep both of these in the sidebar. Let's go ahead and put tan washi there and we'll kind of continue to figure this out. That might actually look really nice there. Okay, let's keep playing. Um, I'll come back and check in in just a moment once I get this down. Hopefully this isn't too choppy and you still enjoy watching this video, but I'm having a lot of fun being creative with it. I'm watching Once Upon a Time. I'm in the zone. I'm, I'm doing something different. It's really, really nice. Um, but yeah, if you guys, if you want to use your washi, so the way I've been doing it has just been, um, I'm going to snip this so it's a bit more straight edge. Okay. That's not straight. Hang on. Hold up. Wait a minute. It's choppa. Pew, pew, pew. What the heck? Too much TikTok. I mean, I guess gotta enjoy it before it's bad. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, I just, oh my good, oh my Lanta. What did I do? I'm wasting washi over here. Why in the world would I ever? I just want a clean cut, so. There, perfect. Okay. So I like doing this because it gives me a way to use my washi because I never use my washi. Um, I just hoard it, right? And then I over exaggerate this to get a clean line on that side if that makes sense. be a bit harder to cut. Perfect. Beautiful. And then, I don't know why I turned it around. Just cut the end. You have to be really careful with doing this as if you've watched my videos in the past you would know it's very easy to cut through your paper. So there's that box. Let's see how that's looking. I like to try to keep it as symmetrical as I possibly can. Obviously this side's going to look quite different, although I'm not hating the idea of putting this here, so I might go ahead and do that. If I don't like it, I can always pick it back up. And then I have quotes that I want to put a quote in the middle here. Both of them are from Annika. Um, creative closet so I'm either gonna do a keep quote or maybe I am what I choose to become I like that actually let's do I am what I choose to become or keep believing I kind of like keep believing too okay going with I am what I choose to become I think that's very true and very relevant. 
beautiful beautiful I love that love 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 okay now I feel like I need to pull in some black so let's go ahead and go in I'm going to go in with the black polka dots on the side. I'm going to turn Once Upon a Time back on, and then we'll come back and check in on how that looks. I'm loving this so far. So, I ended up putting that full box down here. Just because I felt like it evened things out really well. And then I felt like the black was too strong here, so I did the white polka dots instead. And then the black fist um, full box is going to go up here. <clears throat> I just shoved a Reese's Pieces in my mouth. Very good decision. And it's the first thing I've eaten all day, so I mean, it's not the first thing you should eat all day. No, probably not, but I mean, it is what it is. So let's see. Do I want to take pink? I feel like I need something in between. The black again I think is going to be too strong. Oh, I do have this washi. Oh, you know what? I have this. From Harriet Wright Designs. Do I want that? I think so. Because I was sad. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's in two. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, it's very, very thin washi. Oh, this is perfect. How pretty. Could totally use that. Which I may. Oh, wait, no, it's not going to go both. <laughs> this was my problem. With the other spreads, it won't go across both. So we'll just use this as a divider. Washi in between. Where's my ruler? Oh, right here. All I wanna do. So we'll do that and then take the pink half box. Do this again. I feel like I'm just seeing hair everywhere. My hair. I feel like now that I'm doing this, I should have done a white or a nude. It's crooked, by the way. It's better. I don't know, I feel like I want to change this pink washi. Or maybe the this. Or maybe this. No. I'm not going to change any of it. Although I could put this instead. And then I'll put a flag up here 
but I'm gonna hold off on that. All right, we're making progress. I think it's looking good. Yay! Far away, should I let the party be? And we ain't got nothing, gotta do something. Let us go tonight. Got a restless mind. loving it. I think it looks really beautiful. Um, towards the end, I'm going to put one of these Clever Gal Crafts flag up here. I just don't know which one I want to use yet. Um, so I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to go ahead and use my favorite Jackson Pepper dots to date the days. Um, and then we'll go ahead and go in day by day. I hope you guys didn't mind all of that or that it was all over the place a little bit, but I mean, you know, do you know what I mean? Sometimes it's just easier to zone out and get creative than it is to kind of like, well, first of all, I'm not great at multitasking. Um, I think we know this because I just can't get through a story while going day by day. But, um, yeah, so these date covers were from a sampler from Simply Watercolor Co., which I'll be able to pull in those um, pieces throughout the rest of, oh my gosh, my hair is literally everywhere, um, throughout the spread. And then these two pieces of um, washi are from the Pink Room Co. and then the top pink scalloped headers are from Sadie Stickers. So, love the way that this has all turned out. And I'm, I'm, I'm honestly really obsessed with it. I think it looks beautiful. So, we're making do. I accidentally bent my um, paper, hopefully. I mean, actually, I know that I'll uh, flatten out once I... Um, once my planner's shut. All right, I'm gonna get a little organized here. Clean some things up. Let's go ahead and put my quarantine script from Kinsey's Creations. And maybe I'll take a date dot to mark the week since my pen obviously is not gonna show up on that. And I don't know if I have a white pen. That's pretty, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I also really am happy that I put that black half box there. All right, so now it's time to go in day by day. I'm excited. Put that there. Okay, so starting on Monday, I'm not gonna do my checklist. Um, do I want to do this one? Yeah. So on Monday, I dropped off a thank you letter to the post office. So I'm going to take this post, well, not the post office, just to the, you know, you know what I mean. You know where you drop them off. You know what I didn't do, though, is zoom in. Oh, my Lanta. I hope we were not out of focus that entire time. My car also went into the shop, so that was from, um... Planning world, and then the car is from Clever Gal Crafts. So we'll just do it like this. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay, that'll be fine. 
And then to mark my time with the boys, I'm going to be taking these flags from the sampler I got, as well as Netty Designs, Mini Dots, and Tutu. So for today, let's take... I'm going to take this... What color? I don't know why I'm taking such a hard time to decide. I'm gonna basically end up using all of those except for one. And you know, I might find a foil piece to go within here, like a foiled arrow or something like that. Foiled, I have like some foiled dividers. I think that might look good. But um, I'll go in with that at the end. And then, yeah, that looks nice. Or maybe even a foiled script or something like that. I wish I had. Um, foiled scripts dedicated to my nephews, but I don't. And I'm just going to take three dots. Do I want, oh, you know what I also have that is brand new? Okay, I don't want to waste these dots, but I'm just going to put them over here for now. I ordered some reusable sticker books from Savy Stickers um, today, so it'll be nice to use for cases like that if I pick up a sticker but these arrows might look nice those are gonna be in my August haul but what are you gonna do I want to use them now I think I like the black maybe I'll alternate black and pink what do we think so I mentioned in my um my um haul that these are like a brown color but it's fine they work the same nonetheless and that looks really beautiful i love 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 that yay i definitely want to find something foiled for that though for sure okay i'm gonna hold off on these dots hopefully i can find something for those three if not i'll try to put them back on the sheet anyways um, okay, and then I listened to a podcast. Wait. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't listen to a podcast. I listened to an audiobook. So I don't know if I want to do this. Let me find a book sticker. Let me grab a book sticker. Hang on. Ah. I mean, I did listen to it, so I could do that, but let's do this one from Samantha May Sticks. And I don't know how much I'm going to try to squeeze in here because I technically have three other things to put in. I could move that up here. Let's see. Let's see how spacing works out for us. If not, I mean, we can always move it back down. I don't know. This might be too crowded. I mean, that looks fine for now, but I guess we'll see. Okay, and then at, a, at 6 p.m., a release was being... That scared me. I didn't know my dad was gone and our my sister's in the backyard um, and our door open. It's like, um, who's entering our house? Anyways, that little bow or heart is from uh, The Giving Girl. Um, so a release that I wanted to shop at was there and then I might just do dinner. Dinner instead. I also worked out that day, but I don't think I'm gonna put that. But I got more in than I, if I would have put that down there. So I'm fine with that. Okay. On Tuesday. Tuesday was Blackout Tuesday. So let's go ahead and take maybe a heart and a quarter box. Hi, Baloo. Hi, honey. Hi, baby. Okay. He, like, doesn't know what to do because...
Should I take pink? No. I'll take a nude. I could also take a quarter box, I mean a half box, which I think is what I'll do. Should I? Yeah, that looks nice. So that's going to be for Blackout Tuesday. I'm going to put um, an appointment. So I'm going to put this scalloped sticker from Samantha May Sticks with the calendar. And then the boys. So let's take where they are. Let's take. Okay. And then that night I worked out and I also um, logged a little bit. So for workout, let's take this. And I have this new script from Scripts by L and C. Again, you'll see that in my um, August haul, but a little preview. <laughs> you'll probably see a lot of my August haul stickers before that haul goes up, but I mean, it is what it is, right? And then, like I said, I blogged a little bit, so from Paper Blush Bar, I'm just going to take a laptop. On Wednesday, I'm going to start off with my nephew stuff up here. Perfect. And I need three arrows. These were a lot tinier than I was expecting them to be, but... You know, it makes them more functional, which I really appreciate. I was, as I was um, putting my pre-plans down for this week and next week, I was getting really sentimental because I was able to do so much more with my nephews. You know, this is kind of looking a little crazy. I might, hey. And then I eat dinner with my dad, so let's do little bubble from the kit and then I watched once upon a time that night so from paper blush bar I'm just gonna take this TV there kind of keep it a little lighter that's the first half on Thursday, Thursday was payday. So from Cra Crafts by Towie. What? Yeah, okay. I have this piggy bank. You know what, I'm gonna actually keep this open. So I watched my nephews. Then 
I got ready for a date. So my nephew actually helped me get ready. Let's do a flag from the kit. Kind of feeling one without a bow. And these brushes from um, Wow, they're huge. It's fine. Crafts by Towie. I'm going to take this little diaper sticker from Pigeon Paper Company to mark that my nephew helped me get ready. And then I'm going to put this date night sticker from Kinsey's Creations down. Just like that. Maybe a meal icon because we went out to dinner. Perfect. On Friday, I watched The Boys again. Odd. Because. My sister's dog is barking. I should go get him. Okay, so my little sister is in the backyard and she is tanning. And the pool is gated, so um, no one can get. To, I mean, I mean, it's just gated, so it's a little safer, right? I feel like. Oh my gosh, I think she just came inside. Thank goodness. Because. My sister's dog has been freaking out because he wants to go to the pool area. And I had him out there, but our pool's chlorine. And he, he goes to my sister's, like he goes swimming with my older sister, but I mean, I don't know if it's chlorine. I think it's salt water. Maybe not. I could be completely wrong. I honestly have no idea. But he's been freaking out. I had to trap him in my room. But it sounds like she's coming in. Hopefully. Okay, no more interruptions. We're gonna get through this video, okay? No more. No more. So finishing up Friday. So I had the time with the kids. And then, oh, I had a pack and shower. How am I gonna do this? That's nine things. I could do three and two. One, two, three, one, two. No. Let's do one, two, wait, I could do five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take the car. Let's take this from Crafts by Towie to write that I drove down to Tucson. And then I went and saw my really good family friends. So I was thinking about taking a heart and take the black since I honestly don't really use black that much. Although after seeing this spread, I'm kind of really loving it. Let's do that. And then I went to my friend's house. Let's do like a little home. Let's do this little location point. I think my sister is coming to talk to me. Knew it. Yes. Sorry. No worry. Okay. And then after that, I, we went to a hotel. So from Paper Blush Bar, I'm going to take from this um, Dainty Travels sheet. A little hotel sticker. Beautiful. With that, I could probably put multiple things down here, but drinks, 
and played games. Perfect. Love that. On Saturday, the men brought us coffee. So from Paper Muse Crafts, I'm gonna take this coffee mug. We went to um, this really good restaurant and my friend and I got a little drunky poo, but it was really, really good and it was lots of fun. So we ended up having like this, I don't know, it was really nice. I feel like I want to take, no, just kind of keep it more simple. And then let's see. We went to the pool and there was a water slide and we had loads of fun. So I'm going to take the swimsuit. Let's take a flag for this guy. That looks nice, other than the fact that it's crooked. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I'm enjoying the spread, so. Love that. And then I went back to the room and I ate. <laughs> so I think I'll take a food sticker. I just noticed this washi strip right there. It's nice. Do I want to do this here? Yeah. Actually, let's do three things here. So the food and then this music note, note from Simply Watercolor Co. because we kind of had a dance party, which was really nice and fun. And then let's do... Maybe like, hmm, I don't know what to do here. Oh, I'll just take a dot, I guess. Hmm, or take something from here. the heart with a bow. And then, ooh, this was also nice. I sat on the balcony and listened to music with my friend and drank. Actually, I didn't drink because I was feeling pretty good from the pool. Okay, on Sunday, Sunday, I, where's the pillow? Right there. So I ended up, how many things? Six, two, four, six. Okay, this will work perfect. That, I just stayed in the room with my friend Riley and then I, he went to go charge his car because he needed to be able to have enough um, charging to get home. And while he did that, he invited me, but I wasn't feeling 100% up to it. So I just stayed and cleaned the room and like put it back together. And then I went back to, what did I use to listen to the book? Oh, I used a book. I went back to the pool, or I put my stuff in the car and then went to the pool um, by myself. We had two, we, uh, the second night we ended up having two rooms. And I just listened to the audiobook that I had started. So you want to talk about race. So I'll take the same book. And then, um, 
the entire group went to the pool and we had Bloody Marys. So I should take a drink sticker. From Crafts by Towie. And then I went home, I drove home and I showered and relaxed. So let's do, oh, I love that. That says be the change. I should put that somewhere in here. showered and relaxed and then I had another date night. I have these really cute quarantine and chill stickers. But I think I might want to use the date night sticker. Should I do quarantine? I feel like What do I want to do? I'm gonna save that date night and do the quarantine and chill from Annika Creative Closet. And maybe take the movie, I'm um, like a TV screen. Yeah, lovely. Okay, let's open this up. Oh, that looks really pretty. My camera's going to die, but do we, are we surprised? I'm going to take this here. really nice and I'm going to take be the change and put that on top that looks really nice okay and then do we want okay so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out and I will be right back oh All I right, love this it. is how it turned out I absolutely adore it to pieces I think it looks really phenomenal thank you so much for bearing with me through that as we used the two little bees um sampler i love it to pieces again i think it turned out really really amazing and i'm so happy with it it's so stunning um yeah that's it thank you so much for watching make sure to check out my instagram for more details up close um and tagged shops i know it probably was a bit dicey getting through this but I quite enjoyed it. Um, I hope you're having an amazing day, week, and are staying healthy, positive, and safe. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Taking just